Creating a strategy map in Spider Impact requires that it is enabled within the admin settings. To show where that is located, I'll select Administration in the bottom left. And then select Application Admin. Under Methodology, I then enable Display Strategy Maps. I'll now go back to Home. Before I build the map on my own, I'll review one that has already been developed. On the primary navigation pane on the left, I'll select Scorecards. I'll then click on Mobile World and choose Select. I see that the Mobile World Balance Scorecard has already been developed using the classic scorecard design with the financial, customer, internal processes, in organizational capacity perspectives. Underneath the four perspectives are a number of objectives and measures. And these have already been populated. With the scorecard structure in place, a strategy map was then developed using the strategy maps link on the left. I see there is a mobile world strategy map that contains a display of our objectives along with a colorized display of our performance for the month of June 2020. I could dissect this map in more detail, but my main goal is to build a new one. So I'll, up at the top here I'll select New Strategy Map and give it a name of Training. I see that there are two options, automatic and blank. It is important to note that the automatic option is only available because the mobile world structure contains a scorecard with perspectives directly under the scorecard root. If it did not, only blank would be available. However, since it's available and helps make life a lot easier, I'll leave the default of automatic and select create in the bottom right. Immediately, a strategy map has been created representing the perspectives and objectives found in the Mobile World Scorecard. I'll click full screen to better view the entirety of the strategy map. I can now more easily see the four perspectives and the three objectives that each contains. The next thing I'd like to do is add arrows to the map to indicate cause and effect relationships between the objectives. To do so, I'll simply click on an objective, like improve knowledge and skills on the bottom left. I'll then click on the arrow icon, and an arrow will automatically be generated. I can move the arrow around the map, or I can put it back. I now want to create an arrow that shows a relationship between objectives that are not right next to each other. And in this illustration, I'll select Improve Contract Management in the bottom right, select the arrow icon, and then move it all the way up to Improve Market Awareness. Unfortunately, the line is going straight through Improve Clarity of Offering, which doesn't look so great. But I can easily adjust that with the circle in the middle, and I can drag it to the far right here. In addition to where a line sits, I also have the ability to control its darkness, width, and whether it's a solid, dashed, or dotted. If the line was added in error, I can also choose to delete it altogether. One more thing to note is that the strategy map is really just a dashboard. As such, I have the ability to add additional widgets like images and text by using the plus icon in the top left. I also have the ability to move objects around the screen simply by moving them around. For example, if I'll slide this one objective to the right and then I'll push it back. I can also resize objects if I wish by clicking on an edge and dragging. 
When I'm done with my changes, I'll click Save in the top right, exit full screen, and then remove myself from edit mode by clicking Done.